So I should say this formula is actually good for small matrices, you know, three by three, four by four. It's not good at all if you have a matrix of size 1,000 by 1,000. So in computer software, actually for small matrices, they do this. For larger matrices, they use other algorithms. But let's just see how we do it. So I'm going to do it. OK, so first of all, I will give you the final answer. And of course, for that, I will need to explain what the answer means. So we'll have to compute something called the adjoint matrix. And I will tell you how to do that. And then we'll divide by the determinant of A. So how do we get to the adjoint matrix? So let's go through the steps on a three by three example. The steps are the same no matter what the size is, but let's do three by three. So let's say that I'm giving you the matrix A. Well, let's say it's the same as earlier, the one that I erased. So that was the one relating our X's and our U's. So the first thing I want to do is find what's called the minus. So what's a minor? Well, it's a slightly smaller determinant. We've already seen them without calling them that way. So for example, so the matrix of minors will have again the same size. Okay? Let's say we want this entry. Then we just delete this row and this column. Sorry, this row and this column, and we are left with a two by two determinant. Okay? So here we'll put the determinant four, five, one, two, which is four times two, eight, minus five. Three. Let's do the next one. So for this entry, I delete this row and this column. I'm left with 2, 5, 1, 2. Determinant will be 2 times 2 minus 5 is negative 1. Then minus 2. Then I get to the second row. So I get to this entry. Well, to find the minor here, I will delete this row and this column, and I'm left with 3, 3, 1, 2. 3 times 2 minus 3 is 3. And let me just cheat and give you the others. <laughs> I mean, I think I've shown you that I can do them, OK? <laughs> so OK, so let's just explain the last one again. The last one, this two, um, so to find the minor here, I delete this column and this row, and I take this determinant, 2 times 4 minus 2 times 3. OK, so it's the same kind of manipulation that we've seen when we've taken determinants and cross products. OK, step two, we go to another matrix that's called cofactors. So the cofactors are pretty much the same thing as the minors, except the signs are slightly different. OK, so what we do is we flip signs according to a checkerboard diagram. So you start with a plus in the upper left corner, and you alternate pluses and minuses. Okay, so the rule is if there's a plus somewhere, then there's a minus next to it and below it. And then below a minus or to the right of a minus, there's a plus. Okay, so that's what it looks in size three by three. Um, so what do I mean by that? So I don't mean, you know, make this positive, make this negative, and so on. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, if there's a plus, that means leave it alone. Okay? We don't do anything to it. If there's a minus, that means we flip the sign. Okay, so here we'd get, well, three, then one, minus two, minus three, one, plus one. Maybe I'll put pluses just to emphasize. 3, minus 4, and 2. OK? That step is pretty easy. I mean, the only hard step in terms of calculations is this one, because you have to compute all of these 2 by 2 determinants. By the way, I mean, this minus sign here 
see, it's actually very related to the way in which when we do a cross product, we have a minus sign for the second entry.